Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Um, this is just going to be a little light video. I'm going to probably, uh, one of my travel days, I'm taking off to the city tomorrow, so this will be the last video for a while from Costa Rica for a few weeks, not a long while. And I will probably drop this on one of my travel days. I'll either post it the night before I leave to go back to the States, or I'll post it the night I get to the States because I probably won't do a video that day. But you never know. I keep the cameras around all the time. I've been playing with the GoPro this weekend and learning how to use um, GoPro Studio. And there, there's some cool things I can do in there. I'm starting to make, do some like little Facebook uh, videos uh, directly to Facebook instead of just sharing. So I was talking with somebody and, you know, from time to time, people like try to get to know me and ask me questions and uh, eh, haven't done anything just kind of personal in a while. So I thought I would talk about this a little bit, how I see myself, because I get frustrated sometimes um, when people and I'm not saying everybody thinks that probably some people think this is just a crazy old man. It don't pass. But when I, I do have people sometimes that I'm having conversations with that are friends or just people in comments and stuff. And when people seem to start going in the direction of I'm something special or I'm exceptional or I have something that others do not, it frustrates me a little bit um, because I feel like um, I feel like it kind of people like when people do that, it gives them a bit of an excuse. Let's talk about excuses again, just in a different sort of way by making me some sort of uh, greater than, better than, something special about me, kind of like divide, makes a dividing line that gives me a special reason why I was able to do it. And it just psychologically, um, that doesn't work. And also, if you know, if people think like that, maybe I, I need to take a step back and talk about and explain this lifestyle better because the way, here's the way I look at it, what I'm getting to, how do I see myself? Um, I see myself as almost a bare minimum. And I'll be 52 on Thursday, March 24th. And, you know, people, I get nice compliments sometime, uh, probably not with the beard, but w around the eyes and stuff. Like people say, oh, you look young. You don't look your age. Or, you know, I get nice compliments in it from time to time. And, uh, yeah, you know what? I'll just say it right out, especially for where I'm going. When I'm in the States, like for, in, for a 52-year-old male, I'm probably in the upper percentiles, but that's not necessarily something I should be celebrating because like I say, I figure, I look at myself and think, this is the bare minimum. Like, you know, this is kind of like, there's people out there in their 50s and 60s that are doing great stuff. There's people out there, there's people even in our raw vegan world that are 10 times fitter than me, um, you know, that just have it going on. But we've come to compare things to what we see in society. And what I see in society is that the average 52-year-old man these days in the Western world is kind of broken down. Um, if not broken down, he can't do the things that a 52-year-old body was meant to do. Listen, don't get me wrong. I know I got limitations. I know my limitations. I feel it. I feel certain little aches and pains from time to time. But in general, there ain't a whole hell of a lot that I can't do just as a fun, average, everyday person that I can't do now that I could do when I was 25 years old and probably do it better. In a lot of ways, I'm in much better health and shape than I was um, when I was, you know, even in my 20s. But um, you really, this is the bare minimum. This is just for me putting one freaking foot in front of the other every single day. Uh, consistency. I uh, watched a good talk uh, by um, 801010 athlete the other day, uh, Jay, uh, about consistency. And it's really all about that. It's just wash, rinse, repeat. Oh my, wash, rinse, repeat. We just keep doing this damn thing day after day. Don't worry about where you're going with it. Don't worry about anything. Just, just eat. Eat good food. Eat healthy food. Make good choices every day. And you'll be there. You'll be there before you know it. I don't even remember, like, I don't even, sometimes I don't even remember my evolution, like when things started to go a certain way, when things, you know, in the beginning, I was, didn't know what I was doing. I'm, I don't even remember things. They just, sometimes things happen so subtly. You just look and you think back a year and you're like, wow, I've made a lot of progress in this year. And everybody will do the same thing. Everybody will get that same thing. So do not, do not. And like I say, I've got, don't go the other way. Sometimes I get talking like this and people think they need to uh, 
pump me up or get me going. Let me tell you something. When I, I'm very self-deprecating. I've got a weird sense of humor. I'm very self-deprecating. Um, but I have very healthy self-esteem. You don't know, you know, I don't, I don't quite get all that kind of love yourself type stuff. I think I probably love myself too much. So you don't ever have to, um, give me the speech about, I need to talk kinder to myself. I'm hella kind to myself. <laughs> I pamper myself. Thank you very much. But, uh, yeah. So, you know, when I say things like I call myself the old man or senile or something, don't freak out on that because that don't mean a damn thing to me. My self-esteem is very, very healthy. And even if my self-esteem wasn't very healthy, we get that from ourselves. You know, we don't get that from other people. So, um, yeah, I just thought, I, you know, this was just totally rambling, pointless video, but just a little insight talking about myself. I haven't done that in a while. So, um, yeah. Don't look at me, listen, please, though, don't look at me as some, something, in fact, in a lot of ways, you would not want to be like me. I'm a screwed up 52-year-old uh, uh, teenager <laughs> with, the, with the maturity levels of, of that, but, but yeah, like, listen, anything I do physically, unless there's some reason, you know, some physical handicap or something going on other than the everyday Nothing I do is really all that extraordinary. I mean, you know, I don't run all that much. I know people that could smoke my ass. They could run all over the place. I'm not as, you know, there's a lot of people stronger than I am. Um, so it's not like I'm some elite athlete and I don't train all that much. I talk about the fitness, but I train very smart. I train, you know, I, I train at a minimum because I believe, you know, like, especially as we get older, and I'd probably still push it if I was younger, but as we get older, um, the super heavy training, uh, to, in my opinion, just in my opinion, at least inflammation and acidity. So I try to get as much done in short amounts of workouts and exercise as possible. But anyway, that's just who, uh, a little bit of insight into how the crazy old man views himself. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day and hope the plane makes it to the United States. Peace.